I'm John Byrne, editor of Poets and Quants, with handicapping your MBA odds. With me is the always witty, entertaining, and highly informative Sandy Kreisberg, a leading MBA admissions consultant and the founder of HBSGuru.com. He is a guru. Well, we're here to handicap the odds of an MBA candidate who wants to get into one of the world's elite MBA programs. And as we do in our highly popular columns on Poets and Quants, we'll analyze whether a real-life applicant has what it takes to either get into a big school or whether, in fact, that person might be dinged. Too bad. Today's candidate is a 24-year-old male, GMAT 700, GPA, and he may have some trouble here, 3.23, but from a great school uh, in economics at UT Austin. He has two and a half years of work experience, a year at a medical startup company, and a year and a half in Accenture's Rotational Management Development Program. He has pretty good extracurriculars. Uh, He's been a youth soccer coach. Uh, He's played on professional club volleyball, soccer, and uh, racquetball teams. And uh, he likes a lot of other things like camping and traveling and food. His goal is to get an MBA to help him get a job at one of the big three strategy shops, McKinsey, Bain, or BCG. And his target schools, Columbia, Wharton, Chicago Booth, and Northwestern Kellogg. So what do you think about Mr. Consultant? Well, I like Mr. Consultant a lot, but I'm afraid I got some bad news for him. The... 3.23 3.23 from University of Texas is almost a deal breaker at the schools he's focused on, which are Columbia, Wharton, and Chicago Booth. He did mention Northwestern Kellogg, and that's the place that he's got the best chance. The reality is Columbia, Wharton, and Chicago Booth have become increasingly obsessed with magazine standing ratings. I welcome representatives from those schools contacting me and saying, boy, you're so wrong. And they're not gonna take a they're not gonna take a guy with a 3.23 and a 700 GMAT. They do take people like that, but they're not uh, white males from Texas. Well, Uh, to use a phrase that you often use in your columns. You say, admissions committees will blink once, but they won't blink twice. And with a 700 GMAT and a 3.2 GPA, you're asking an admissions committee to blink twice, right? Uh, The 3.23, you're asking them to blink twice, right there, both eyes. (laughs) It's it's not going to happen. That's not so bad, 3.2, is it, or 3.3? You raise a good point, but it's not a 3.6. And and he's also... He's got, another, he's got another problem that's only a problem within the world of selective and elite admissions. Which is? He's got, from the business school's point of view, a checkered work history. He started at a medical device uh, startup, which is acceptable uh, and, in, by, as the world turns, wonderful. And then he went to Accenture in a, uh, I think it is in a rotational program. Right. What that does, a rotational program at Accenture is the elite program at Accenture, but that gets him into competition with other consultants. So if you're, if you're the director of admissions at Columbia or Wharton, Chicago, you've only got so many spots for white male consultants. And I, I just fear this guy is going to lose out at those schools to those other people. Northwestern is the most humanistic school. They're the ones that'll credit his uh, club volleyball and kickball teams and the youth soccer coach. They actually appreciate that. The other schools, uh, less so. So I think that's his reach chance. uh, And Kellogg loves consultants, incidentally. And they love consultants. And they put out a lot of consultants. Now, this guy, what this guy wants to do is, you know, get a post-MBA job at, you know, Bain McKinsey. BCG. Right. Here's what I would suggest that this, this guy, Mr. Uh, consultant. Mr. Consultant, he, he'd look at places like Tuck, uh, Duke, and yeah. Darden. They're a little easier to get into. 
They like uh, red-blooded American guys like him. Uh, and they are great feeder schools to the kind of consulting shops this guy wants to get involved in. Right. Now, is there anything else he can do to shape his, his brand, okay, his personal brand, package himself in a way? I mean, you know, guys like you, they hire you to do would that, that for were, them, Would right? that were true, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anything he can do to shape his profile in a way that increases the odds at the schools that he wants to attend? You're into finding someone who can pull a wire for you. Pull a wire. I mean, a some, uh, 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 yeah, exactly. Uh. That, that's 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 one thing you could do. But obviously, people think of that. Now you, now Is this you, a situation where he should take uh, online calculus or take a do, create an alternative transcript? Ah, uh, right. I'd hate to advise this guy to do that because it's a lot of work and I don't think it makes a difference. And the point of that, obviously, is you get a bunch of A's in some quant courses. Right. You, you make ADCOM feel a little more comfortable that you're going to handle the tough work in a business school curriculum, right? The trouble is the guy, after the smoke clears, this guy's involved in a beauty contest. And um, those all, the alternative transcript is not a, I wish it were, Plastic surgery, but it's not. It's just changing your clothes. So he could get better clothes, but he's not going to become more beautiful. Well, what about retaking the GMAT and getting like a 720, 730 instead of a 700? Does that help him? Marginally. Yeah. But if, you know, your heart's set on Columbia, Wharton, Chicago, or Northwestern, Maybe retaking the GMAT, taking sure, taking if you, the sure. If you course, optimize, yeah. if you blew everything out, if you retook the GMAT, you got a seven thirty. If you took uh, stats and calculus and got an A, uh, could that make a difference? It might. And plus, you're showing incredible effort and diligence. You're not in more than showing. Get, you're right? more than showing an incredible you're, you're, effort. You're working. <laughs> you're, you're you're expending an incredible. <laughs> you're <effort>. working. <laughs> right. And let me tell you, for this guy, the difference between going to Columbia and Darden is not going to be dramatic. What uh, he's got to do is at either place, at, you know, like the, the only place that would make this guy's life easier is Wharton, where he wouldn't have to hustle so much to get a job at Bain. But you still have to hustle. Going to Columbia is just a, a license to hustle. And, and that's what it is at Darden and Duke. It's, you know... Those places send the, t you know, however, you know, uh, judged, those guys send the top 20, 30 percent of the people to those leading consulting firms. And you've got to hustle to be in that top 20, 30 percent. Right. OK, let's go to the odds. Uh, odds for Columbia for this guy are what? Let's let's make them early, early decision. Make Good it a point. little easier for him. OK. Good point. 25 to 35 percent. 25 to 35. Okay, what about Wharton? 25 percent. 25 percent. One in four is not so bad, really, you know, in the scheme of things. And then what about Chicago Booth? 25 to 30 percent. 25 to 30 percent. Northwestern. And Kellogg? 30 to 40 percent. Okay, and, and what about the three schools you recommended that he consider? That would be Tuck, Darden, and Duke? Then you're into a fair shot. You're into 35 to 50 percent. Yeah. And, and Tuck is still pretty tough in terms of selectivity, but to your... They're what, open what you're to saying, this kind of guy. Exactly. Boy, this guy... Yeah. I mean, t t t Tuck is the Midwest of New England. <laughs> hey, you know, it's only an hour... With, and ma ha with mountains. It's, it's only an hour and a half from Boston where you live. Come on, Hanover, New Hampshire is great. I, I love it. I love it, too. All right, there you have it, Mr. Consultant. Go for it. Thank you, Sandy, and good luck to our candidate. If you're interested in having your odds assessed by Sandy, go to poetsandquants.com, look for our handicapping series, and leave your profile in the comments, and we'll get Sandy to take a look. Meantime, good luck to our candidate, and good luck to you. <laughs>